Fact 1. GOT7 is a seven-member boy hip-hop group from JYP Entertainment. Fact 2. The seven members are JB, Mark, Jackson, Jin Young, Young Jay, Bam Bam, and Yu Yum. Fact 3. Together, the seven members debuted on January 16th, 2014. Fact 4. JB was born January 6th, 1994 as Lim J. Bum. Fact 5. Mark was born September 4th, 1993 as Mark Twan. Fact 6. Jackson was born March 28th, 1994 as Jackson Wang. Fact 7. Jin Young was born September 22nd, 1994 as Park Jin Young. Fact 8. Young Jay was born September 17th, 1996 as Che Young Jay. Fact 9. Bam Bam was born May 2nd, 1997 as Kunpimuk Bulakal. Fact 10. Yu Gyum was born November 17th, 1997 as Kim Yu Gyum. Fact 11. GOT7's official color is green. Fact 12. GOT7's fandom name is I GOT7, but are referred to as Agase because it sounds similar. Fact 13. Agase in Korean means baby birds, so birds are all over the fandom. Fact 14. When an Agase becomes fiercely loyal or protects GOT7 and fights for them, they are referred to as a phoenix. Fact 15. And while other members see us as baby birds and phoenixes, apparently Jin Young sees us as shoe bills. Fact 16. But let's rewind a bit and talk a bit about pre-debut. JB and Jin Young had been trainees at JYP the longest. Fact 17. In fact, JB and Jin Young debuted as a duo called JJ Project in 2012 with the song Bounce. Fact 18. Since Jin Young shares the same name as JYPE founder Park Jin Young, he initially went by Junior, abbreviated as JR. However, many people messed it up and then it was spelled out However, he finally changed it to his official name to go by Park Jin Young in 2016. Back 19. During the time that GOT7 were trainees, other current idols like BAP's Young J and Monster X's Shonu also trained at JYP. Fact 20. Mark was scouted by JYP in his hometown and made the decision to leave the US and go to Korea. Fact 21. Jackson decided to stop being a top winning fencing athlete to pursue becoming an idol. Fact 22. Bam Bam left Thailand very young and not knowing Korean to come to Korea. Fact 23. Together, Mark, Jackson, and Bam Bam make up the rap line. They are also the foreign line. Fact 24. They have a group name called Ameritai Kong, which emerged from an episode of Real Got 7. Fact 25. The other members make up the vocal line, and they happen to be all the Korean members. JB, Jin Young, Young Jae, and Yu Gyum. Fact 26. Got 7 is an international group with members from Korea, USA, Hong Kong, and Thailand, and members speak Korean, English, Mandarin, and Thai. Fact 27. Young Jae was actually the last member to join the group. Fact 28. Prior to their debut, GOT7 began filming a reality show called Real GOT7. Subsequent seasons followed their comebacks. Fact 29. GOT7's debut song was Girls, 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 which was a hip hop song off of their first mini album, Got It. Fact 30. While their debut was the 16th, the album wasn't actually released until the 20th. Fact 31. Girls, Girls, Girls is known for featuring martial arts tricking, which Jackson and Mark often performed in the early days and still do on occasion. Fact 32. While Jin Young is a vocal in the early days, he also had some light rapping parts. Yu Gyum also had rapping. Fact 33. In a number of early tracks, Mark and Jackson did mini raps in English rather than Korean. Fact 34. June 23rd, they had their first comeback with A from their second mini album, Got Love. Fact 35. This comeback also was known for having some styling that not everyone loved, including the members who often say they regret the styling. Fact 36. Their next album was also their first Japanese full album called Moria Gateo. Fact 37. The title track for that album was Around the World. Fact 38. The album contained original Japanese tracks and also Japanese versions of their Korean songs. Fact 39. 
With the release of this Japanese album, they went on a Japan tour. Fact 40. November 18th, they released their first full album, Identify, with Stop Stop It being the title track. Fact 41. GOT7 over the years have encountered a number of odd styling choices, including overalls, odd haircuts, and missing arms. We can't forget about the mullets, but that was JB's choice. Fact 42. During the period between Mad and Just Right, a very special drama called Dream Night was released via web from January to March. Fact 43. The drama featured all seven members who played mystical beings. If you are prepared for a bit of cringe, you should certainly check it out. Fact 44. July 13th, 2015 marked their next comeback with Just Right from their eponymous album. Fact 45. Just Right had a unique concept in V in which the guys were miniatures which involved them using oversized props to appear tiny. Fact 46. On September 29th, they had their next comeback with the Mad album featuring the more mature If You Do. Fact 47. The If You Do choreography featured a trust fall in which Jackson fell back into Mark. Fact 48. If You Do was GOT7's first music show win 807 days after debut. Fact 49. November 3rd, the repack of Mad was released titled Mad Winter Edition and featured three new songs. Fact 50. They used Confession Song to promote the new repackaged album. Fact 51. From January to February of 2016, GOT7 went on tour again in Japan. Fact 52. Following this was the beginning of a new era for GOT7 where they followed a concept and theme that linked together for the following three albums. Fact 53. On March 21st, they released their fifth mini album with Flight Log Departure with Fly as their title track. Fact Fact 54. The MV featured story elements that carried through the era. Fact 55. More importantly, the Flight Log era marked their first world tour, which was announced with Departure's release called the Fly Tour. Fact 56. Fly Tour went to countries including USA, China, Thailand, and Singapore. Fact 57. September 26th marked the release of their second full album, Flight Log Turbulence, in which Hard Carry was the title track. Fact 58. Turbulence album had eight versions, one featuring each member and then one group album. Fact 59, the album was the first album to have all members participate in the creation of songs. Fact 60, from the release of Turbulence, they also went on a fan meet tour. Fact 61, the next and final album in the series was released March 13th, 2017, called Flight Log Arrival. Fact 62, the title track was Never Ever. Fact 63, in April of 2017, their fan meet tour was extended to Australia locations, which was their first time in venues there, but also a chance for Jackson to visit family. Fact 64, GOT7 went on a showcase tour in Japan in May of 2017, promoting in Japan on the Meet Me Tour. Fact 65! June of 2017, GOT7 embarked on their first Nestival, which is a large GOT7 event held in Thailand where there is a huge dedicated fan base. Fact 66! On October 10th, they released 7 for 7, a mini album. It also happened to be their seventh mini album. Fact 67! 7 for 7 was deemed a special album by the group in that they were songs the members had spent a lot of time working on and cared for. Fact 68. The title track was You Are and was written and composed by JB. While this wasn't his first song to make it on one of their albums, it was the first track to be a title. Fact 69. In November 2017, Jackson officially stopped Japanese promotions with GOT7 as they were too draining on top of his Chinese and Korean schedules. Fact 70. March 12, 2018, GOT7 released their eighth mini album with Look being their title track. Fact 71. This was another title track that was composed and written by JB. Fact 72. Following the announcement of this album, it was announced that GOT7 would be heading out for their second world tour called Eyes on You. Fact 73. After the tour, they came back with their third full album, Present You. Fact 74. Lullaby was the title track for the album. Fact 
75. Leading into the release of the album, each member released a short video featuring their solos that would be featured on the album. Fact 76. Each solo was written and composed by the members themselves. Fact 77. While the title track Lullaby was released in Korean, the album also came with versions of Lullaby in English, Chinese, and Spanish. Fact 78. On December 3rd, GOT7 released the repack Present You called Present You and Me Edition. Fact 79. The title track used for the repack was Miracle, a ballad. Fact 80. Along with Miracle, there were also two new tracks and also many of the special stage tracks that had been performed in concerts but had never been released. Fact 81. In December of 2018, GOT7 returned to Thailand for another Nestival. Fact 82. Over the years, GOT7 have had their own reality shows both airing on their own YouTube channel, VLive, or on other stations. Fact 83. Real GOT7 is a variety show that follows the guys around or has them doing challenges or games. Fact 84. Each episode of Real God 7 has a focus. Fact 85. There have been four seasons of Real God 7. Fact 86. Got Today is a show that has two members sitting down to talk about whatever they feel like. Fact 87. There have been three seasons of Got Today. Fact 88. The third season of Got Today were done live, V-Live broadcast rather than be pre-recorded. Fact 89. Since Got Today is done in Paris to go through all the member permutations, there are 21 episodes each season. Fact 90. On V-Live Plus, Jackson had a similar show called Jackson Show in which he sat down with two other members. Fact 91. They also did a show very similar to Real Got 7 called Got 7ing during the Fly promotions. Fact 92. Got 7ing largely focused on members going or doing something in a more relaxed environment. Fact 93. During the promotions of Hard Carry, Got 7 had a show called Got 7's Hard Carry, which ran for 10 episodes. Fact 94. The Hard Carry show was largely a random show which focused on various things happening in each episode. Fact 95. The episodes also featured playful MVs from Turbulence and other older popular tracks. Fact 96. During Present You promotions, Hard Carry returned for six episodes second season. Fact 97. In February of 2018, they also had the series Working Eat Holiday in Jeju. Fact 98. On August 26, 2017, Jackson debuted as a solo artist focused in China, but most songs were actually in English and Chinese. Fact 99. Jackson's Chinese management company is called Team Wang. Fact 100. Prior to debut, JB had a cat named Nora. Fact 101. After Young Jay moved out of the dorm, JB got Nora back and also got two more cats, Kunta and Odd. Fact 102. Bam Bam, after moving out, slowly started getting cats and now has three, pudding, latte, and cupcake. Fact 103. For many years, JB's name was written as MJ Bum. However, he confirmed that he prefers the Lim J Bum romanization of his name. Fact 104. Both Bam Bam and Mark have released merch lines that go towards charity through Represent. Fact 105. Young Jay has worked with Elliot Yemen and Sanjoy after a connection came about from their Turbulence fan meet tour in LA. Fact 106. The Sanjoy and Young Jay friendship is quite cute, though Sanjoy supports all of GOT7. Fact 106. Seven. Mark, Young Jay, and Yu Gyum have tattoos that, while are not spoken of, have been seen and confirmed.
God7 are very aware of their fandom and watch us. So always be kind and prove to the boys that we are the precious Agassiz they believe us to be. Protect and advocate the, for the boys in a way that will make them proud. Bam Bam is watching. Don't hurt his feelings.